Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to change the background of an image or to cut part of an image out. So, first we'll start off with going to the Paths tool and start by starting outside of the picture. Then you start going in and go all the way around everything that you want to stay in because we're changing the background so which in this case is I want all of me in and that's all so and and just a real quick thing about this um, path tool is that if um, you just don't want to click around everything and if there's like a um, a thing that you want to go around different, like you can click and twirl this all around and it can go around like that. So whatever you want to do, whichever way. So just leave that like that. <laughs> now you can keep going. And also a thing that you don't want to do is, well, would you, w you can do this kind of thing. You can can take these all around and move them so that they're closer and you can all fix them. Well, once you're done with that, you got to go back to the one you were on. You keep going. Because if you're on one of these and then you keep going, it's going to, the line's going to be coming through here and, and it won't go through there and it, it just messes up everything. So just don't do that. <laughs> so we'll keep going. Now you have to go all the way around the picture because otherwise it'll just, it'll, um, when you erase, it will undo, it'll erase what's inside, not outside. So you want to make sure it's outside. So now we'll click selection from path. And now that's selected. So now we can go to erase. But, um, yes, the erase when you want to completely erase everything, not just make it white, you need to go to Layer, Transparency, and Add Alpha Channel. So now that erases every all that part of the picture. And it can't erase anything that's inside your selection. So there's that. Now to add a uh, background, whatever you want to do, you can have just a normal one where it's colored a different color say like a grayish blackish and then you can take this and copy it and then paste it into your picture right here and then go to your layers and make it a new layer and then press this arrow button right here down so now that's the background I know it looks horrible, but you can do a lot better. But So that's how to add the background. Now to cut an image out, you can do the same thing like this, select it, but instead of um, uh, doing this, having it like this and having the background be cut out, when you when you uh, copy this and you go over here, it'll only paste what's outside. So what you want to do is go over here and then you can go to select and then invert. So now when you copy and then paste into something else, there that is. So now that goes into that. You can do it with pictures or any backgrounds or anything you want like that. So so there's that. So I think that's about it for cutting and changing backgrounds. I don't think there's really anything else to cover. But you can also use any of your any blends. I, I don't have the tool up here right now. But you can use those for backgrounds. Any anything you want, just just use the select. Whoops. So that's about it. So.
hope this helps and thanks for watching